Now, I don't know if you know, but World Book Night celebrates poetry as well as prose, so with each of the books, um, there's a poetic uh, suggestion uh, included. Um, and our next reader is um, a poet, a performer, an author, and a broadcaster. He's been involved with World Book Night since 2011. Um, I've known him for half my life. Um, Lem Sese has put the boo in boom, he put the ha in happy, and he put the love in lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, Lem Sese. This poem's called Invisible Kisses. I feel like, by the way, I feel like I'm in the chic, seek boutique. <laughs> this poem's called Invisible Kisses. If there was ever one whom, when you are sleeping, who would wipe your tears when in dreams you are weeping, who would offer you time when others demand, whose love lay more infinite than grains of sand. If there was ever one to whom you could cry, who would gather each tear and blow it dry, who would offer help on the mountains of time, and who would stop to let each sunset soothe your shades of mind, if there was ever one to whom, when you run, who will push back the clouds so that you're bathed in sun, who would open arms if you would fall, who would show you everything if you lost it all. If there was ever one who, when you achieve, was there before the dream and even then believed. Who would clear the air when it's full of loss, count love before cost. If there was ever one whom, when you are cold, will summon warm air for your heart to hold, who would make peace in pouring pain, make laughter fall in falling rain. If there was ever one who can offer you this and more, who in keyless rooms can see open doors, who in open doors can see Harvests yield, who in open doors can see open fields, and in open fields see harvests yield. Then see only my face in the reflection of these tides through the clear water beyond the river's side, all I can send is love, and all that this is, a poem and a necklace of invisible kisses. The final poem I'd like to read for you is called Let There Be Peace. That's free, by the way. You can get that online. Uh, it's called Invisible Kisses. It's the only free poem that uh, I, I give. Otherwise, I charge extortionate fees, and, 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 and nobody, nobody buys them. Um, <laughs> most uh, novelists, uh, many novelists begin as poets, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Let there be peace. Let there be peace. So storms can go out to sea, to be. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. So frowns 
fly away like albatross and skeletons foxtrot from cupboards. So war correspondents become travel show presenters and magpies bring back lost property. Children, engagement rings, broken things. Let there be peace. <laughs> so storms can go out to sea to be angry and return to me calm. So the broken can rise and dance in the hospitals. Let the aged Ethiopian man in the gray block of flats peer through his window and see Addis before him. So his thrilled outstretched arms become frames for his dreams. Let there be peace. And let tears evaporate to form clouds, cleanse themselves and fall into reservoirs of drinking water and let harsh memories burst into fireworks that melt in the dark pupils of a child's eyes and disappear like shoals of darting silver fish. And let the waves reach the shore with a shh. Final poem I'd like to read for you is a very quick one. So, uh, Hadi, no, no, no. Hadi, <laughs> Hadi asked me to read this one, so I'm going to read it. It's called Sarcasm. Uh, I wrote it in an argument in a relationship, stood outside my flat in my Batman boxer shorts. Um, <laughs> I didn't stop in the middle of the argument and say, I could write a poem about that. I didn't do that. This poem's called Sarcasm. It doesn't work on the page. Sarcasm, she said, is the lowest form of wit. I said, it's not, is it? <laughs> Thank you. That was for you. That's... <laughs> <laughs>